Okay, so here is the space that I we, uh, try to analyze to present uh, today is the Lower Danube area that uh, uh, it's part from historical point of view of the 6th, 7th century of the Sclavin and the other uh, nomads uh, influence. And we have some little short notice in the written sources about how the um, uh, Sclavin ants from that spice live. Uh, so we have Procopius that says that they live in pitiful hovels, with, uh, they set up far apart one from another and continue moving from one place to another. So uh, this can uh, describe us um, a settlement that uh, have spread uh, houses and uh, not a concentrated one and uh, maybe um, uh, a way of living but moving from one place to another that means that they stay they have the crops move to another place and um, something like this uh, not a transhumant or nomadic one but moving in, um, in their own territory because of the agricultural system they practice uh, more important is uh, information from Mauritius uh, that he says that Sclavin and ants live uh, near impenetrable forests, rivers, lakes, and marshes, and uh, they have many exits from their houses because of the danger they may face. Uh, they uh, bury their most important valuable possessions in secret places, keeping nothing unnecessary inside. Um, this can be to bring us um, the image of um, uh, houses. Uh, surface houses because of the many exit and because of the um, um, soil near river and near mar marshes may, uh, must be a soil full of water so cannot be uh, suitable for central buildings and of course uh, uh, a settlement with many many pit um, storage pits to, to keep a um, uh, valuable possession uh, when we take, uh, when we look at the uh, archaeological situation, we see that um, partially the, the information from written sources are correct. We see uh, which uh, in here uh, there are um, uh, the number of pits, but they are only in the east part of the territory that I described. So there are uh, settlements like this. Was, um, uh, square are buildings uh, with uh, red dots I hope you'll see it. there are fireplaces open fire open air fireplaces and with uh, black dots are pits so it seems there are uh, settlements with rather dispersed um, houses sunken building this time and with a lot of fireplaces be uh, between them and a lot of pits uh, I don't know if this is a real uh, image of the settlement. Uh, I wonder if uh, all those far open air fireplaces are in fact open air. If not, uh, are sign for a sunk or a, for a surface dwelling that uh, not being uh, burned have uh, not uh, re remains on at least uh, uh, to see it from an archaeological point of view. Uh, another problem is, um, okay, we have a settlement like this with 12 dwellings, all sunken building, with no pits, no fireplaces between them, so the image seems more clear. We have three groups of uh, three to four uh, dwellings and only one overlap uh, here, uh, uh, considered to be a um, restoration of an older uh, dwelling. And the um, general assumption is that um, we have group, family groups of houses around or um, have public spaces between them. Uh, this is questionable also. Why? Because we don't know for sure the exact, exact um, uh, 
chronology of each of the building, and we don't know for sure how many of those buildings are simultaneously used. So this image must, can be um, tricky, and maybe there is a small group that move from one point to, to another. Um, here's a pretty much the same situation, but uh, even um, in these uh, cases, we can notice a lar large space between uh, buildings, large space, uh, uh, sometimes uh, ar around it with uh, buildings, spaces that can be uh, viewed like a space of uh, common effort. Um, it's uh, another uh, type of uh, settlement, I say. It's you spread it uh, uh, um, uh, along the river, and um, we have no, we can notice it's the same um, structure of the dwelling if it is a single dwelling, a uh, single settlement. Sorry, there are three groups around along the river, but this um, maybe will uh, tell us more about the how uh, how it was the space they, that uh, they have um, at the disposal for arranging the, the dwellings, because more probably here in the east was a large forest that you cannot uh, use for, uh, for habitat. Another problem is, um, what is a settlement? How can we uh, see it? And here is a, 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 um, an example of a settlement uh, from the studied area, uh, from Gropshan, and uh, it was published like one large big, big thing. But we made some uh, overlapping of different kind of, um, di uh, well, di not a different kind, different settlements from <laughs> different points from the map. Uh, I choose the largest excavated settlement. Uh, we can see that, uh, in fact, could be three groups of different um, settlements, probably moving from one uh, spot to another, uh, because you can see there are many settlements, uh, like area that overlap only one group. Uh, and uh, here can be see uh, the same analysis, but uh, put on a different um, arrangement. And uh, from big, from small settlements to big ones, like it is the same scale. Here are small settlements, and here is one single settlement, and. The problem is, is in fact one settlement. We can analyze it like one settlement with 72 dwellings or buildings, let's say. Probably not, but uh, to, to uh, succeed it, to uh, make fine chronological uh, differentiation between dwellings or buildings or uh, ovens or other parts of the settlements in order to to see what is simultaneously used, it's, uh, it's very hard for this because the pottery is the only um, artifact that we can find. And the pottery can be uh, chronologically dated in two centuries, so probably it's in, not impo uh, it, it will be impossible such to uh, analyze. Another kind of analyze that uh, uh, we can try is intracite distribution of finds. Basically, um, it's a problem uh, to, to map every uh, object that we can uh, uh, ascribe a certain utility <coughs> and try to find specialized area inside the settlements. Um, and uh, those two examples can show something that there are uh, parts of the settlement that we, where we found mostly open, mostly um, uh, iron tools or mostly uh, specialized tools for making um, uh, objects. So can be uh, uh, all shop area, storage area where the pits are, 
uh, and the so-called common effort area, the space between the structures. Uh, here, uh, it's another example uh, of this kind of analysis. Here, in, in the, uh, it's a detail from that uh, huge uh, settlement that I showed before, where it's a digital fibula here, a Roman Byzantine fibula with band stem, and a spoon um, uh, with many holes. I don't know how to. Uh, yeah, uh, for um, and all those three are concentrated in one um, place. Let's say a cut here of the richers, uh, because all three can uh, be viewed and interpreted like a, a sign of power for individuals. Uh, the other example is here in Zalo, where in the middle of a circle of buildings, there are three buildings. Uh, that can be viewed either like uh, uh, elites, uh, uh, dwellings for the elites, or like uh, dwellings for the, I don't know, re religious purpose or public purpose. Um, these are the main, two main uh, types of uh, uh, dwellings that we can encounter in the, this space, Sankal building and surface building. Um, and uh, the problem is that in the settlements where you can find only sunken buildings, uh, there are two types mainly. Those with stone ovens or clay oven or, or fireplaces and those without any, uh, any kind of uh, fireplaces. So uh, the question is if those without any kind of fireplaces can be viewed as um, um, annexes of building uh, that uh, can around the main house, I don't know, for uh, uh, storage diverse things or for uh, other household utilities. Um, here is uh, an example of more complex situation because uh, those who excavate this uh, structure say it is a sunken building with an oven big uh, in the wall but uh, they also you can see there are pits around it so probably the structure is more complex more larger uh, with at least two uh, parts one at the surface of the earth and the other in the uh, sunken uh, sunk, sunk it. Um, <coughs> Uh, so, uh, another brief example, it's the same settlement and you can see there are three types of um, uh, architecture. One uh, group of dwellings, there are, um, have many pits, post pits, so have a heavy wooden um, architecture based on uh, uh, post uh, sunk in, uh, in, uh, in uh, the earth. Another group without any kind of post pits. And only one single building have only two posts on um, the main axe. And uh, we wonder if those kind of different architectural characteristics can signalize some, uh, uh, some uh, difference in use of those buildings. And probably uh, dwelling number 12 can be viewed in other public space, either, uh, uh, let's say, boss uh, dwelling. Uh, another example is uh, of those two dwellings, and if this is correct situation from our political point of view, and is not in fact two uh, sunken buildings separately, uh, based on this characteristic that have uh, maybe two rooms and one corridor, and inside was found the treasure of three uh, coins, uh, gold coins, uh, Byzantine gold coins. Uh, this also there are, uh, can be an uh, architectural characteristic for a um, special building for a, uh, maybe a chief building. Uh, the same situation here where we can observe that the space was uh, divided in two. And here this time is a surface dwelling and around the main uh, area there is a uh, 
There are many uh, posts uh, surrounding and creating the second space, more larger, uh, and uh, the position is separated for the, the rest of the dwellings that are uh, more, uh, more, more simply. So also into this case can uh, we talk about uh, special uh, use of this dwelling. And the last, uh, and this I finish, uh, is uh, the problem of workshops. The problem of workshops is like, uh, is, um, generally they don't have any uh, architectural design separately from the uh, regular uh, dwellings. So it can be easily confused from this point of view. Um, and uh, only the inventory from inside can tell us if it is an inventory or uh, it is a workshop or not. In this case, uh, mold, um, clay spoon for uh, melting uh, metal and uh, crucible and other, other things. But only in, if we can be sure that those inventory are really belong to the, to the structure and not put there uh, when the structure, after the structure was dead and used like a garbage, garbage pit. And probably the same is here when, uh, because of those two uh, ovens, one uh, put in the uh, wall of the sunken building and another one in the space, practically you don't, you don't have a, a space for living inside, so must be uh, also uh, an workshop. Thank you.